we in the gangster unless you get the video done by my nephew, dog. What's up, y'all? This is Illusionary Films. I'm right here with Chubbs. What's the word, gang? So how old are you, bro? I'm 19, gang. I just turned 19 January, gang. Right. So what made you start rapping? Shit. Since, since the shorties, I'm not gonna lie. I've been like, you know, my uncles and my pops and them, they've been, you know what I'm saying, having me around the studios and shit. So I really grew up in this shit. This my, this my, this my, like my blood cousin, man. We grew up in this shit sandbox, man. Okay. You know, we both, we were babies in, in, in the fucking studio, man, listening to our pops rap and shit. So I just caught on it. I, I wanted to do that shit on my own, you feel me? I really took my own route, because I don't be going to my, like, my family studios and nothing like that. But they be, you feel me? They be having slices too. I be fucking with them, but I really be on my own shit at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Your pops got any music out? <coughs> yeah, hell yeah. That's uh, <coughs> Savage featuring Carballo. He got a bunch of shit. Real savage on YouTube. Search that shit up. What's the earliest memory you got of you know being in the studio with your pops? The earliest memory, I'll probably, I'll probably be in a little studio where they had us on top of like a little deck. I don't know, and I was with this guy and shit. We're we're all in the we're all in there, bitch. We're we're skate we're we're skateboarding out through the hallways and shit. That's like that's like the first memory of the studio. Oh Alright, so. Do you consider yourself a drill artist or what type of music do you consider yourself? I don't yourself? know, bro. I could, I'm real versatile, so I don't want to box myself in as no label, you know? I do a little bit of everything from me. I, I, could, do, I could do anything. I feel like I could do any type of music, so I don't want to label myself as a drill artist or, you feel me, or me or nothing like that. I just do whatever, you feel me? Do whatever comes to mind, however I feel. Right, is there any artist that inspires you? Shit, any artist that inspires me? I know when I was little, <coughs> you. When I was when I was a shorty, I used to be inspired by Polo G and shit. <coughs> Cause I don't know, I feel like we really used to we we, we used to really feel his lyrics over here and shit, you know. So, <coughs> I felt inspired by like Polo G, you feel me? Things like Love Papa and shit. They were hard and shit coming up. That, that's what I felt the most. That's what I listened to and shit. All right. So, what part of Chicago are you from? I'm from the West Burbs. Actually, I'm off 290, off, off First Avenue. Man. We from Maywood. I'm from Maywood, Illinois, man. I'm not, I'm from like right now. You feel me? I'm from the West Suburbs, man. Right. You know, the front of rack. I just be out here, I grew up out here because my whole family grew up. You feel me? My whole family from out here, man. My whole family from the rack. So we in Humble Park right now. My baby. <coughs> How was the life growing up in, you know, like Midwood and all that? That shit was fake bust. It was fun as hell, bro. I was like, you know, out there, there's a lot of, it's a lot of black motherfuckers and shit, so it's, it's, it's Murrow's Park right, right next to a lot of Mexican motherfuckers. So I was Puerto Rican. I locked in with like the only other Puerto Rican family over there as a shorty and just, Feel me? Went from there again. We was just on our own shit. Feel me? Used to be hella, 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 hella pretos and shit on the block. We used to be the only Hispanics and shit. It, it was fun though. It was fun going up. It was, you know, shit was hard, but we didn't realize it till we got until we got older, you know. And we we're like, damn, that's not how it's supposed to be, but that's how you feel me. We gonna try to do better from it, try to move different, you know. How is it like in the West Burbs versus like the city or like other types of burbs? I don't know. It's real slept on, but you know they said La Fol for Baywood and shit. It's a lot of rappers for Baywood. Don't even. Motherfuckers don't even know. That's why he two ninety game. You don't never hear, you know. That's that's what he said on Western. But I feel like it's slept on. It's at the end of the day, it's the same shit going on everywhere, bro. It really don't matter where you ask. It's about what household you in. For real, for real. <coughs> you feel like it gets busting out there? I feel like it's better. No, like it gets busy. Yeah, it gets busting. It gets busting everywhere, bro. It's, it's niggas everywhere. You gonna meet niggas everywhere you go, bro. You gonna you go our way to a roar right now. This, you don't even know. We, we sleeping on that shit. It's eight times. There's a whole bunch of niggas out there. Like I ain't even know myself. I, I went to some studios out there recently. And shit. Shout out Mango, you know. Right. Shout out Better Choice. So, bro, they, they was decent. This shit. I fucked up. Or it was our way. I was sleeping on the deck. You feel me? I had some niggas out there. Bro. Right. So. You like, like, you know, this is not no fed ass question, but you know, I see you got your hat, your hat to the side. No, are you game related? Hell, hell no, I, mean, I don't even, man, I do what the fuck I want, man. At the end of the day, I get, I get my bread, and you know, I'm 19, you know? My people's game bang, I don't got a game bang. I know too many game bangers, you know? I'm, I'm only the money niggas for my circle, you feel me? Some of my guys game bang, some of them don't. But we getting money at the end of the day, you know? Right. That's really what we on. Oh, baby. So, I noticed you got a, a face tat too. What is it? I got two face tattoos. I got this. These are baby blocks. I need a haircut right now, but it says risk and rich. You feel me? You gotta take the risk to get rich. You know, this is long live well out. You feel me? That's my grandma. And this is the numbers. And right here, it's a little crack in my shit. So you know, I got a couple tattoos and shit, but you know, not too many. These ones, you know, this, this one mean a lot to me, you know. This was just some, you know, fucking around. Right. Like I said. 
So what's, what's your opinion on the music scene in Chicago right now? Shit, I don't even. Shit, I fuck with like all the up and coming rappers and shit. Like, I, I be I be trying to watch and shout the interviews and everything that's going on. But you know, I feel like I feel like to to make it out in Chicago, you can't stay in Chicago. You gotta post music for Chicago, but live somewhere else and shit on some on some smart shit. You know, you gotta really think about it. Cause at the end of the day, you right here, you loafing and shit. You you know, you still got your family out here, all type of shit. And you gotta. <clears throat> You can't wear it, you can't wear it, you can't wear it, you can't That's what mostly everybody tries to do. That's really how motherfuckers bow up too off of that drill music and shit, but no, it's not so smart. Alright. So this is another rapper by the name of JR007. You know, he sits out, you know, out in the West Burbs too. Maybe yeah, they're from Elmwood Park, sir. They from Elmwood Park, sir. They're cool. Yeah. Bro, as, you know, I, I already heard about the situation, you know. That's fucked up, you know. He said a. He shouldn't have threw that shit away. I feel like he shouldn't have even been going on them hits or whatever they did. What you know, I wasn't there, so I can't say shit. But whatever happened, happened. It went left, it went left, you know. But I feel like he shouldn't even been in that situation. Man. He should have been somewhere in Cali getting put up, trying to stack some bread up, man. You know, he got a platform, man. He got a major platform. You feel me? Right, he, he was doing something with it. Right he was doing something with his platform too. You feel me? I remember I was a shorty listening to that. Oh, uh, bro, that shit was that shit was hitting, bro. His ass was cold. His ass was cold. Oh, yeah. His ass was cold. Bro, yeah. free dude. I wouldn't wish jail on nobody. Free dude, but his ass crashed out too. Yep. Yeah. So who are, who are some of the artists you know you would like to work with right now? Shit, right now you know uh, Fatso. Fatso just got. I think he just got signed by Dirk and shit. I, bro, I fucked that nigga hard, but I was trying to. I don't know. I'll, I'm gonna probably have to get taxed for a feature or something. But that's for somebody I want to work with. Lil King and shit. But Fatso for sure. I want to get on a song with both for sure. Bro, he just blew up type shit too. What's your opinion on the Latino side of hip hop in Chicago? I don't know. I feel like we be snapping this shit. Like some of us be going cool, some of us be making us look dumb. Cause they, you feel me? <coughs> some of us be making us look like goofies and shit. But you know, everybody to eat is all you know. Everybody be doing their own shit. I just be doing my own shit. I feel like you feel me. I feel like we slept on, but it's all right. You Jr. was putting off for us and shit. You know, there was there's, there's motherfuckers I can name and shit. I don't name nobody, but you know. Right. I'm gonna get there, so I'm gonna be the face of this shit, though. I'm gonna be the face of this shit, Walter. Do you feel like it's harder to get signed as a Latino in Chicago compared to like the other ones in other states? I, you know I wouldn't know. Are. I'm from Chicago and shit, and I, you know I only been to a couple other states my whole life, so I, I wouldn't really know. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really know. You feel me? I would have to. I would have to been through both situations right. to know. So like, what I'm saying is, New York, you know, they got record labels and they be sending Puerto Rican rappers like Jr. the Prince, uh, CJ. You know, et cetera, et cetera. And then you got California. They be sending all the Mexicans. Type shit. But like Chicago, yeah. we don't really do that something. Oh, yeah. Latinos. Yeah. No, I don't even, you feel me? I don't even know all that. I don't even be paying attention for it. I got to get more, you know? I got to get more on the business side of the music shit. But I just be, I just be hitting the stool when I, when I be on an event for real. But I don't even, I don't even be taking this shit serious. But I got to, you feel me? Because that's what I want to do, you know? So recently, you posted a video of you opening something on, you know, on some person. <laughs> <laughs> No, they look like you know it was a me game, but I reposted that video and shit. That was my boy and shit. They, I guess they tried to back door him or whatever. They got caught. I don't know too much. I don't even know. I don't even know if that was a real pipe or none of that game, you know? I didn't say that. Yeah, baby. <laughs> but, you know. What you tell me? What was, for what what was the situation about it, allegedly? Shit, well, what I heard was, what I heard was, one of the guys, one of the guys took a pipe from the penthouse. We had a little penthouse, the exotic pets at. Ooh, and DT and one of the switches went up missing. So you feel me, motherfuckers wanted to get back and they try to come up on a Drake. They try to take, they try to take little baby Drake, you feel me? It's a prop, you feel me? They ain't even know this bitch was a prop, you know? This bitch was a prop, but um, bro, they try to take that bitch. Got caught in the act type shit on some unrighteous shit, so you know? Motherfuckers, motherfuckers stay behind me and they ain't like that. So niggas really got exposed the next day because we didn't even do that shit the day that it happened. I fuck around and find buddy at the trap. He was still hanging around like he was cool. He wasn't cool. Bro, I made bro ass get the fuck on. Made his ass walk the whole division with no, no shoes on. That's a thank you on, bro. Okay, bro. So, any new music coming soon? Shit, hell yeah. I got a lot of shit in the vault. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you know, I got a lot of shit in the vault. Just check out my Instagram and shit. You'll see. You feel me? I'll be posting snippets and all that. Well, right, well, this is all for the interview, but shout out Chubbs. All right, gang. He's moved, you already know.